G'day. The rabbits have eaten my crop of kale. They've chewed it right down. There's nothing left for us to eat. Look at each plant like this. So I've got the 17 here, Savage. It's stainless and it's raining right now. So this is a good firearm for having out in the wet because it doesn't rust. I'm shooting 17 grain. Let's go and get some food, some rabbit food. I love eating rabbit. Just past my hut, there's normally a rabbit just down here. We're just walking over my dog Bruno's grave. Hey Bruno, good boy. This spirit looks over this paddock now. Today I'm looking over it for a rabbit to eat. Oh, I just saw a good fat one just over the rise there. Onto us. Oh, we'll keep going. I might spot another one down here. They're abundant right now. There's one in that long grass, right beside the green grass. I think he's onto me. There's two right out in the paddock there. I don't know if you guys can see them from here or not. That's actually not our land, that's Harry's land over there, so we can't shoot over there, but there's two in there, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a hare and a rabbit, probably too far off. There's a rabbit by the fence, just walking, there goes up the bank. I think he's onto me. Oh no, he's just sitting on the bank there. I'll set up for the shot. Nah, he's gone, he's onto me, he buggered off. There's a great big hare right on Harry's property. Well, I can't shoot that, that's not our land. Let me zoom in a bit more. Look at that, and there's a rabbit beside him. Right there. Real feed in that. But that driveway, other side's not our land, so I can't shoot it. No. Nope. Frustrating, but that's just the law. The old bunny's sitting on his back legs looking at me. It's like, nah, we're okay, mate, you can't shoot us. Well, I'm allowed to hunt over here. This is my neighbour's place, Murray, my old landlord. He doesn't mind me shooting rabbits. So I'll sneak up by this pine tree. We might see something up here. Well, as luck would have it, there's just rabbits everywhere on Harry's, but none over here. You can probably see them. There's one right there, just in the paddock. But uh, nothing on Murray's land or my land. Well, one right there real close hasn't moved. I'm just about standing on it and one on the row there. That's again not where I can go. I'll keep walking down and hopefully I'll get on something close to our land. I'm so close to this here now I could actually shoot it with a blowgun. He's within 20 metres of me. He's just sitting here. And he's off. Down the road. Old mate next door there. He hasn't moved, he's just sitting there. We're not really having a lot of joy so far. I've got a rabbit on my driveway. I'm gonna put the phone down and take a shot. Smoked it. Just smoked it. Straight up here. Oh, it's a piggy too. This will be good chewing. That's a beauty. It's a fatty. Yeah, look at the size of that. G'day mate. Dead as a donut. Dead as. Whew. Good condition too. Mmm. Lots of uh, lots of weight on that. Where did I hit it? Where did I get you, mate? Oh. Okay. Through the engine room. That's all right. That's okay. Because we'll take the back legs and the back straps up to there. We'll eat that. Back to the hut. Here's our outdoor cooking facility for the hut. We'll see how she looks. Can't show that. Sorry, she's a bit messy, I can't show that on YouTube. And the skin is off just like that. So, uh, I don't want to show you the um, entry and exit, but uh, we've got that much meat there. I breed those Pekin ducks myself. If we're having bad hunting, then uh, that's a food source. But right now it's good. You can see the kennels are all open. It's because the dogs have been run three times a day. 
and uh, they don't want to come out because it's raining. They're allowed to roam in the paddock if they want to, but they actually like it in their cave. Poke and smell rabbits, you know something's going on. Yes, did the wind blow your door shut? Hey, you're a good girl, aren't you? Yeah, I've got some rabbit for you, I haven't forgotten. That wind keeps blowing your door shut, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, hold on. We've got a front leg for you and one to chew on. There you go, Poe. There you go, mate, in your box. She can have that as a treat for later. Oh, Bigsy's already into that. We didn't forget about you, Pace. Pace likes to chew the skin as well. So I'll give him the skin to play with. And he gets the front leg and the back paw. There we go, Pace. Pace, come. Here you go, mate. Here we go. Eat up. Good boy. He's going to take him to his cave. So we all get something to eat out of that. There's nothing left. Just the back legs for me and the back straps. My dog Bruno used to eat a rabbit head in one bite, crunch and swallow. Take Bigsy a bit more than that. I'll pose, clean up all the guts, we'll hang that and uh, leave it outside and cook tomorrow. Nothing got wasted. Good kill. Taking the cooker that I cooked on for 17 years out of the house truck and put it in here. And this I've got some duck fat and over here I've cut up some pork, just pork skin, that's all it is. It's not pork belly, it's Cheap, you can buy this. This was two dollars or just under two dollars at the supermarket, and it's really nice as a crackling. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick in the duck fat. And the reason I'm doing that is my rabbit, which I've cut up, is very low in fat, it's high protein, it's a very lean meat rabbit. And uh, I'm on a ketogenic diet, so you need a lot of fat. I'll put some salt in there, but I am going to smack on a bit of this Cajun seasoning. But I want to have some crackling to have with it, and I'm also going to get some vegetables out of the garden. So once this uh, fat heats up, I've done this here with garlic, salt, and what else have I got? I've got a bit of Cajun seasoning on this as well, so it'll be absolutely delicious. Well, as soon as this fat starts to heat up, we're gonna smack the uh, pork, and woo, it's gonna be a feed. I'll show you around the cabin while uh, that's heating up, because it's a cool cabin. So this is for young people to stay that a bit down on their luck. Now the last guy that stayed in here, was it Ethan or was it Papa Joe? Papa Joe was the last guy that stayed in here. Ethan stayed in the house truck. And this is the upstairs bed. And Papa Joe actually left his mattress here for the next person. It's a brand new mattress and plenty of space. And it overlooks the paddock out here. She's absolutely pissing down right now. I don't know if you can see my houseboat down there, which is now up there. And there's the sheep in the paddock here, yeah, so it's a really neat space. Uh, ideally I need to put the gas outside though, because the ventilation is pretty poor. There's a window over there, and I'll actually open up another one just to let a bit more air in, because we've got cooking with gas inside. But it is a very, very cool cabin for somebody to, to live in. Eventually I'll have this connected up to solar, so we can have solar power. And I'll be building another log cabin next door to it which may even end up being my cabin then because I like hanging out in the cabin. That's duck fat in there and also leaf lard mixed up together. Well, she's starting to heat up now. Going out into my garden and the storm was a challenge in itself. It was actually just about as hard getting vegetables as it was getting a rabbit. Oh, this is really nice. Right, she's in the pan, in it seed, pretty good. Pan full of tomatoes just like that and one stray mushroom. 
that crackling's going off like popcorn on there. So each piece of rabbit has got a little bit of cabbage around it like that. Stop it burning in the bottom of the pan. Cook the tomatoes and cabbage very slowly. Steam that for a bit longer. How's the entree looking? Oh, looking good. Looking good. That's what we want. Oh yeah, that's, that's just about ready I would say. Any longer it would start to burn. Oh yeah. Perfect crackling. We can turn that off. That's done. I guess I can see why people say it's like chicken. It's white like chicken. But it doesn't really taste like chicken. It tastes like rabbit. Oh, I'm so, so hungry. Where do I begin? I think we start with the main star of the attraction. Oh, the rabbit. A bit of the sauce, which is just basically tomato rendered down with duck fat and pork fat and cabbage. Tomato, tomato. Oh man. Mm. Range coming down. The rabbit's dry because I didn't casserole it, which would make it moister. But it doesn't matter because I've got this nice sort of sauce, I guess you could call it, to chew with it. Mm. Let's try the pork crackling. Oh, the rabbit is very tasty. Oh, and there goes the fat bomb exploding in my mouth. Mm. Tomatoes out of the garden are just to die for. No, they're just to die for. Mm. This is the reason we hunt. Anyway, that's one rabbit that won't eat my vegetables again. Thanks a lot for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button so I know I've got something right. And we'll see you in the next one. Good luck with your own hunting, gathering, growing meat, however you're doing it, whether you're growing it at home, like growing rabbits or growing chickens or ducks, or farming them, or hunting them. Well, how are you getting it? Good luck with that and also cooking it. And this is the first time I've cooked in this little hut and it won't be the last. It's a nice place to go when it's stormy. And I don't mind getting a little bit messy out here. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next video. Oh yeah, be good. Let's try and be good. If you can't be good, then be careful. See you later. Well, I think we'll have a bit of crackling. A bit of rabbit on top of that. Mm. Oh, that's good.